All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there who are pushing this truth, are uh, pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shakti from the Chicago camp coming back to you with what I hope is another quick and edifying sit down. And today I just want to talk about uh, that good love. You know, uh, no, not a Nita Baker or uh, that that plantation love. All right. That that we've been taught that says uh, you can do anything because God still loves you or you still. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, can just just love whatever you feel like it. OK, now I'm talking about good love. That real love, according to as the Bible speaketh, okay, and it's going to bring me to First uh, Corinthians sixteen and four, okay, and it says, it says. No, it's 16 and 14. It says, let all your things be done with charity. Okay. So that's saying basically everything that you do, let it be done with love. All right. Because when you break down the word charity, that's what it means. Love. And when you look it up in the Greek, uh, it's called agape. All right. And agape means okay it means brotherly love affection goodwill benevolence okay and you go to the root word uh which i believe is g25 yeah g25 it's agapo as it pertains to people it says welcome entertain to be fond of or to love dearly okay so when it talks about love in the Bible, okay, it says, let all things be done with charity, with love, okay, according to thus as the scripture says. I believe that's in Hebrews, okay, what is love? That we uh, keep the, uh, uh, keep his commandments and that they, they not be grievous, all right? And this is how we should operate in all functions of life, you know, as far as our relationship with the Most High and the different aspects in the way of how we deal with brethren. All right. Where it deals with uh, uh, how we speak to them, where it deals with judgment, you know, our gifts, everything, you know. And a good example of that is when you go to First Corinthians, the 13th chapter. Because Paul is telling you that everything that we do in this truth, okay, nothing functions and nothing is without any true intention if love is not behind it. If love is not the principal thing that, that, that moves the action, for lack of a better phrase, okay? And this is the 13th chapter, uh, 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. I'm going to start at the first verse, okay? It says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity and I have not love, I am become a sounding brass or tinkling simple. Basically, if, if love's not behind it, okay, basically I just sound like a whole bunch of noise. It doesn't sound like a beautiful melody, okay? And it says, And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries, and all knowledge and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have no charity I have no love I am nothing and this is coming from Paul who was who was a, a dynamic man of the Lord and he's telling you like and he's not saying this in a bragging way okay he's saying this in the sense like hey the most high has blessed me to do all of these things but if love is not the the principal action 
that moves me to do these things if if my my for lack of a better phrase as we say heart is not in it then it don't mean nothing and it says and though i bestow all my goods to feed the poor and though i give my body to be burned and have not charity love it profiteth me nothing right because you have to remember that goes back to uh i believe this what's that second corinthians 9 and 7 i wasn't planning on getting that but it's okay uh 9 and 7 yes every man according as he purposes purposeth in his heart so let him give not grudgingly or of necessity for Yahweh loveth a cheerful giver, okay? And uh, cheerful, uh, I believe the Greek word for that was uh, hilaros, okay? Which you get the word hilarious, which means uh, joyful, uh, prompt to do, you know? So, uh, Right, so he's saying that I bestow all my goods to feed the poor and I give my body to be burned. You know, he's saying if I do all these things given to the poor, if love's not behind it, you know, it doesn't mean nothing, okay? Because you can't be a cheerful giver, okay? Be joyous and prompt to give or prompt to do, all right? If love's not behind it, all right? And it says, charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity wants if not itself it is not puffed up okay it means love is long and it's enduring okay does not behave itself unseemingly seeketh not her own is not easily provoked thinketh no evil all right because if you truly love somebody according to the scripture all right you're not going to have any ill will you know, towards your brother, all right? And you shouldn't, because you got to remember, as the scripture says, you know, uh, uh, to forgive your brother, all right? And don't let your son go down on the raft. Don't let, uh, it's something like this, a rough paraphrase. You got to forgive me, all right? It says, rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth, right? Because if you truly love your brother, all right, who's trying to go out here and do the work as you are, you're not going to have any pleasure in his downfall, okay? Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endure all things. Charity never faileth, okay? Love never fails, all right? But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. All right. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. And now abideth faith hope, charity. And this is the point. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. So the greatest thing, all right, of all qualities, of all gifts, all right, that the most high, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, has given to us, the most important thing is love, okay? And we all know there's plenty of things in the scripture that, that talk about, you know, the the love okay we've got john three sixteen. for god so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life all right there's no love greater than this that a man shall lay down his life for somebody else all right there's there's tons and tons of scripture that talk about love being the principal factor all right, in in, in in pushing forward actions and being the reason of, of why you should do things. Because without it, what do you have? It's, it will be all vanity. 
All right, it'll be completely worthless. All right, so this is true love. All right, this is the the true sense of love and showing love in the Bible. All right, not according to this this nonsense of what we learn today. Okay, so uh, like I said, I'm not trying to make this long today. I'm gonna end it on that note. I hope you brothers were edified. Uh, once again, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostle Elders, a great millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. And with that, we're going to say Shalom.